All right, guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about the clove hitch knot. So you've got your two ends of the rope, you got your standing end and your running end. With your standing end of the rope, you're gonna create a half hitch. You got your standing end running over top. So the running end's behind the standing end. You're gonna create another half hitch. Only this time it's gonna go the opposite direction. And you'll notice that you've got your running end underneath your standing end. So with the first one, you had your standing end over top of the running end. On the next one, you've got your standing end over the running end. What you're gonna do then is you're gonna take and cross the rope and you'll notice you kind of got an X coming out of the bottom here. Once you've got that, you're gonna take your locking carabiner, you're gonna insert it into the knot. You're gonna dress and set that knot by pulling opposite and opposed. Once you've got them pulled opposite and opposed, dress the knot up a little bit. You'll see those two half hitches, one down here, one up here. You've got your locking bar running across the top of both of them. That creates a locking mechanism, which is what makes this an anchor knot. So as you pull tension on the running end, it doesn't allow the standing end to run through that knot, this locking bar. And to loosen it, you're just gonna pull on this locking bar both ways, it loosens the knot up. In Ranger School, you're gonna have a minute to tie this knot. It's a pretty simple knot. Um, you can tie it easily faster than uh, the one minute. So like I said, you're just gonna take the rope, make a half hitch, make another half hitch the opposite direction, cross over the top, press and set, and that's the half hitch.